Welcome back to the shop. Uh, today we're going to be working on some stainless steel. Uh, we'll be using argon as a shielding gas. Uh, probably one of the key things on TIGging, uh, of course we'll be TIG welding all these fittings together, these stainless steel fittings. Uh, one key important thing is when you're TIGging, especially on something this fine, and I'll show you what we'll be working on. These are small stainless steel fittings and pipe that's been bent. Probably the pipe is probably a 16 gauge on the thickness, give or take. And these are some small fittings, and we'll be putting those together. And you see it's a very tight fit, so the the width of the weld is only going to be around a 16th, which is uh, not easy to do, but it's not impossible to do, and we're going to kind of show you how we do that. Uh, important on that though is keep that tungsten very very sharp so that you have complete and total control over that arc because uh, if your tungsten gets blunted off the arc gets wider and uh, it'll burn up the material you know, instead of welding it up. And we're going to be doing a fusion weld today where we won't be adding any filler, material, any filler material we'll be strictly using the materials on the fittings and fusing them together. We have that style and then we have another style that we're doing which is on these elbows and we're going to have to cut the end off of here and then we'll be welding this fitting inside of this one. So we'll show you how we do all that and we're going to get to cut. So on these, we're going to cut each one of them off. We only have 10 of this style to do. And then we'll deburr the end so that the stainless steel fitting can fit in there uh, easily. That works. We've got that very end cut off. And then we come in with our inline grinder with a burn bit. And we clean up the end so that the fitting can slip right in. If you, they, they build them very precise, so if you leave any type of burr in there, it's not going to go together very well. So that's how we got that. We'll get all these cut up, and then we'll start welding them out. Okay, we've got all those cut up. We're going to switch over, rearrange, and get ready to start welding them out. So I'm trying to get you guys some shots. So I've got this. Weld hood rigged up with a camera in it. If it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. We're going to be doing the small uh, elbows now. They're a, they're a pain in the rear gear because they are so small. We have to carry such a small bead. But we'll see what happens. I'm turning it down to about 50 amps on this. So we'll see. We're going to have to adjust a little bit more. Let's see what we got. Got a pretty little gold ring around it. I'll show you some close ups whenever I get done.
going to take them and we're going to polish them up. And we do that for two reasons. Uh, mainly, well, it looks good. Uh, and two, that gives me a chance to inspect each part as I go. So I can make sure everything's welded up good. There's not going to be any leaks or problems. <laughs> 